Hey YouTube, how's it going everybody? My name is Vigal Sanchez, and welcome to another episode of Logo History. <sighs> we finally made it to episode 16, because this is going to be a big one, because today, we are taking a look at TBS. Hope you're all ready for it, because we are comedy, as what their slogan says. So, anyway, yeah, let's get right to it, the Logo History of TBS. And start with the short bio for those who don't know what TBS is. TBS, originally an abbreviation for Turner Broadcasting System, is an American basic cable channel that's owned by AT&T's Water Media. It carries a variety of programming with a focus on comedy, all with some sports events, including Major League Baseball and the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. As of December 2018, TBS was received by approximately 90,331,000,000. 90.391 million households that subscribe to a paid television service throughout the United States. TBS was originally established on December 17, 1976 as the nationwide feed of, Tur of Turner's Atlanta, Georgia independent television station WTCG. The decision to begin offering WTCG via satellite transmission to cable and satellite subscribers throughout the United States expanded the small station into the first Nationally distributed superstation with the assignment of WTVS as the broadcast station's call letters in 1979. The national fee became known as Superstation WTVS and later Superstation TBS, TBS Superstation, or simply TBS. The channel broadcast a variety of programming during this era, including films, city game series, and sports, including Atlanta Braves baseball. Basketball games involving the Atlanta Hawks and other NBA teams and professional wrestling, including Georgia Championship Wrestling, later World Championship Wrestling. WTPS maintained a nearly identical program schedule as the national feed. Aside from FCC mandated public affairs and educational programming that only aired on the local signal, by the early 2000s, TPS had begun to focus more intensely on comedic programming, including sitcoms and other series. On October 1st, 2007, TBS was confirmed by Turner into a conventional basic cable network, at which time it began to be carried within the Atlanta market on area cable providers alongside its existing local carriage on satellite providers DirecTV and Dish Network. The former parent station in Atlanta was concurrently relaunched as WPCH, branded as Peachtree TV, which Turner sold to the Meredith Corporation in 2017 and reformatted as a traditional independent station with a separate schedule exclusive, exclusively catering to the Atlanta market. And that's everything you need to know about TBS now. Let's get into the local history of TBS. Uh, Alright, here we go. 1976 to 1979, we have a, a, a black screen and inside there's a white number 17. On right of the screen, there are the there are, there is the, there is the word number TCG in white in black text. And right there's word in black in black text, and also everything is on a uh, white background. Here is the sad version. 1979 to 1981, we have the words super and station, and a super station, and under it there's word number TBS in black text. Under it, uh, there under it there's a uh, there, there's a black screen. One ha, there's a screen half transparent, half Half black, and inside the transparent part, there's a uh, inside it, there's the number seventeen in in black and transparent text, and on the right of it, there's World Atlanta in black text. Oh, and by the way, in that previous logo, in, in the previous logo that I mentioned, the it, the channel started at WTCG channel seventeen. This logo they changed their name to W they changed their name to Superstation WTBS. So that's something. Anyways, here is a variant. Uh, 1981 to 1984, we have the words Superstation and WTVS in black text, and under the word WTVS, there's word Atlanta, also in black text. Here's a version without the word Atlanta, and here is a variant. Um, 1984 to 1987, they, uh, we have the word Superstation in black text, and under the word, there's word WTVS in black text. That's all there is. Bottom line period, the end. 1987 to 1989, they changed their name to Superstation TBS. The word WTVS has been removed, and now... And replace it, uh, we're, we're replaced by three black curved squares. And inside each one, there's it, there's a word TBS. It, there's a letter of the word TBS. Inside each one, there are letters T, B, and S in white text. So that's all there is to it. 1989 to 1991, they changed the meaning to TBS Superstation. The word Superstation is now smaller and it has moved to the bottom of the squares. That's all. Nothing else to say about it. Uh, 1991 to 1994, they changed their name to TBS. 
The worship stage has been removed, the rectangle, or, or the squares became rectangle, and the font has changed. Nothing else to say. Uh, 1994 to 1996, the, the font has changed again. It is now yellow text, and the rectangles are now more yellowish. I know. Because I love being yellowish, at least. Anyways, uh, 1996 to 2003, they changed the name back to TBS Superstation, but this time with the lowercase s between the letters R and T in the word Superstation. So, it's, it's the same as last time, but now under... Those under the TBS logo, there's now the word superstition in black text. Here's the print version, and we have a variant of, of this logo. Um, 2003 to 2004, uh, we have the word TBS in red text, and under it, there's the word superstition in black in blue text. Also, there's a, a blue line that's connected to the word superstition, and that's connected to the letter S in the word superstition, and with the word TBS. Uh, but the word TBS is above the letters U and P in the word Superstation, so good luck finding with that. <sighs> yeah, T going across the horizon. All right, anyways, um, February to June of 2004, they finally changed the name to TBS. The word superstation of the line connected to the S has been removed, and now the word TBS is in, in black text. I'll get right to it. Um, 2004 to 2015, the font of it has changed, it is now blue text, and now under the word TBS, there is now a uh, half blue circle representing a, uh, re re representing a mouth that's about to, that's open, try about to laugh. So here's the print version, the version with the slogan, very funny, the stat version, another version with their slogan, the stat version with their slogan, again, the, the HD version and the black version of the slogan version, very funny, <laughs> I know, anyway, and finally, 2015 to the present, we have a, a black shape inside this word TBS in transparent text in negative space, and there are cuts to the corners, and here's the inverted version, the uh, purple and, the, the purple and uh, yellow version, the uh, red, pink, and yellow version, the aqua blue version, the uh, yellow version, the pink version, and their April Fool's version. Alright, thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like, consider subscribing, hey, hit your notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. Share this video with your friends and comment below about what you think of the, about this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I love, love you as always. I think we got such a you be yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all the next time for another episode of Loco History. Please do come back and see us again real soon for episode 17, where we are going to talk about Discovery Channel. Because when it comes to discovering your world, there's no better place than now. So, so please hit your notification bell for that. I'll see you on. I'll see you in the next episode where for Discovery Channel. For all of us here at Local History, I am Miguel Sanchez, signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.